Whoa, boy, we have a lot of cover, so I'm going to try to get this done fast. So, firstly, we have the Dinosuchus and the Edmontosaurus for herbivore and carnivore, respectively. The latter being the better one, in my opinion. But, first off, let's cover Dinosuchus. It does have more abilities, but the Edmontosaurus just is objectively better, in my opinion. And we're not going to be covering the Elders, because you know what, what will happen. First off, if we go check our facts, this dinosaur only has 7,300 health points and does 455 and 340 for the respective left click and right click. And it's pretty good. It has a couple abilities that we'll cover later on. The Edmontosaurus has 8,600 health points. It does 157 for the left click. 337 for the right click, and 600 for the middle click. Now, let's get on to the new facts and interesting um, new updates, because there's a lot. So, there is so much that is going to be added with this new update. There is an insane amount of content. So, first off, these are the new dinosaurs. The Dinosuchus, or the new, you know, uh, carnivore. Is going to cost 5 million amber and will be pretty, pretty, pretty expensive considering the fact that it's 5 million amber. The next one is the Mementosaurus, which is 150,000 amber, which will be a new theropod dinosaur, I believe. And the Majungosaurus, which will be 5,000 amber and will be pretty interesting. So, for the Dinosuchus, you're going to need to have mastered Majungosaurus, Mementosaurus, and Spinosaurus to unlock. So, this one's pretty hefty to unlock. It's probably the next biggest unlock after um, Sorophaganax and the other dinosaurs that come in this update. But mainly, the features are all based on the new, the cro new Crocodilian. And there will be some new features like live grabbing and dragging prey into the water and drowning them. Um, there is also lunging and insta-turn while swimming. There is encouraged cannibalism to dinosuchus to unalive each other. So that's pretty interesting. So there's also what can we expect for Rise and Fall Part 2. There will definitely be a Yule Part 2. There's also, um, for, there's new skins for the Easter event that will hopefully come out. And the Easter event will just be simply the egg hunt, capture the egg type event. And, you know, I've heard the community say that the crystal event, the, uh, the, the event where you had to collect all those, you know, those little crystals, was not good. And I'm going to be completely honest with you, it wasn't good. So hopefully they work on updating that and just making it a lot more, uh, I don't really know what to say, a lot more polished. There's also be some AI birds that you can play as. So if you go to the playable AI, there's only one here. And it is the Mega Nura. It's a dragonfly. And it is pretty interesting. But there's going to be some new playable birds that you can play as. And hopefully you can actually hunt these or kill them. Because you can't kill the Mega Nura. And there's programming a flight system. And fish will start on console support for than AI birds. So that's really all that there is to this update. I noticed that I, that kind of sounds like I'm saying that there isn't enough. There is so much content. Like, I'm not reading all of it. I'm reading the most interesting parts. There is so much to read for this. So I'll be seeing you guys later. Make sure to give a like, subscribe, tell me what your thoughts are on this update, and I will see you beautiful folks later. Make sure to have a great day. I'm out.